Hello everyone, it's Phil Smith here. It's a little bit late, but um, I'm going to do it anyway. This is going to be a review of the Last of Us TV series. Um, at the moment, season one, because it's been confirmed that they're going to be filming season two um, early um, ne next year. Um, so there's like loads of it's been that that's been like the tenth plane. I've heard today is is ridiculous. Um, now it is very faithful to the game. Um, unlike Resident Evil, um, Netflix show, which was absolutely terrible, this one was absolutely amazing. Um, it was I believe eight or nine ep <coughs> eight or nine episodes. I think like eight though. Um. Yes, it was not a hundred percent shot for shot, but all the main bits were there. Um, amazing acting, amazing sound score, environments are incredible. It looks like they just go um put it in, like put, plucked it out from the game and just like, put it in the show. All the best bits were, were there. The um the clickers, the infected, um. Shamblers, I don't, I couldn't see any shamblers in it. I probably saved them for season two. They even had the bloater in there as well. And one thing I cannot wait to see, and I hopefully they, I hope that they, that they do it for season two, is the Rat King. I can't wait, can't wait to see that if they actually put it in the um, second season. Um, but it was emotional for 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 most parts, like um. The first three um, episodes, as well as um, um, the um, Sam and Henry episode, obviously, because it's like they have to like follow the um, game um, to actually get it right. It w was a bit emotional on them some scenes. Like my favourite one, um, even though there's gonna be people that's gonna just disagree because it's because the episode went off the rails a bit, <coughs> went in its own direction. Um, but I think it was a good thing is the Bill and Frank episode episode 3 now I thought that was incredibly amazingly done um, it upset me a lot um, but not not in the way that you'd think um, I actually got quite emotional over watching it um, it basically delved into um, the, um, the like the um, story of Bill and Frank which in the video game um, Frank, Frank's not in it. All you see of Frank is his hanging dead body, and a suicide note to um, Bill. In the in episode three, they actually go in there and they flesh it out. And they actually like tell their story, like how how their partners, how they met, that that sort of thing. So I do think that that was really well done and one of the better episodes. Um, there was some like boring. Um, episodes I think like um, oh, to be fair like one boring episode I, I could see and that was with the, um, the first episode with um, Lee Hunters with um, Kathleen in it which was episode four I believe um, I, I didn't really like that episode I mean yeah it did introduce new characters um, but I think that episode was a bit slow um, but I'm guessing it was just like um, they, had, they had to make a, a video without no, nothing much happening uh, a, 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 vid, a, a, a um, episode of nothing much happening and then like the next episode was was better it actually picked up a bit more in, in, the, in the episode after that um, the one where they go to Tommy's was quite entertaining they they did not go with the um, with, with the dam they went for this entire like town like it, it, this co common it's like communist town and to be fair I think that worked better than the dam because it was like this entire town more inhabitant, inhabitants more family there like it did it, that that one was it really interesting. I mean, yeah, they had not no no raiders, no infected, but it just like fleshed out more of the story about like Tommy, 
and and Gavel in it, which I I did think is that that was a good episode, um, but the entire thing was was amazing. I mean, like forgetting about all the boring episodes, the Last of Us series in a whole was really really good. I really really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, like I know I'm late to the party. The the only problem was um the the last ep <clears throat> last episode was not 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 this Monday that 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 was here but like last Monday and I couldn't really review it because I had the last of my let's play episodes to um to do as well as do some like catch up on things and then I was away for like four days and then, and then I come back and then I had to do like an, another um video on something. Um, and like today's the day where I do the review, um, but yeah, um, the actual acting in this was, was really good. Um, I know they had to like change like what how the um, like cast like different look looking at actors um, to to play their ro roles, but <coughs> to be fair, I don't care about that. As long as they can act good, that's fine, and they did act great. Um, also like told the story of Ellie's mum which I'm like she sounds familiar and then it actually turned out that I was right all along and, she, and it was the actual voice actress who voices Ellie in the um, video game so I'm like oh good I actually got some um, voice actors to um, act in this one I mean like, yeah they had Joel's um, voice actor in the um, I think episode 6 was it? I can't, I can't really remember um, but that was like Troy Baker. He he was in it. And the um, voice actor, the voice actress who um, voiced Marlene, actually reprised her role as Marlene, which was really good. Um, and you also had uh, the only problem is I can't remember his name, but he was like one of the um, the hunters. I think like the main hunter, and he actually did the voice in the um, game of. Tommy, which was good. I mean, I, to be fair, I didn't realise about them ones. I only realised about the um, the one that played Ellie, um, the one that voiced Ellie in the video game, and another one that I've only just found out a couple of days ago. One of the hospital staff, like like the nurses, at the end of the final episode, did the voice of um, of Abby in um, in um, Last of Us Two video game. And yes, she also does the voice of Helena in um, Resident Evil 6. So, um, yeah, there you go, it all comes full circle. And I, like I said, I do think it's great that they actually got to be involved in this. I mean, that must have been a really good time for them. I, I'm quite impressed. Um, I, I do hope that more um, of the voice actors can reply, reprise their roles in the next series. But overall amazing series a hell of a lot better like video games that can that get turned into movies and um tv series it's like 50 50 will it be good will it be bad for the most part it's always bad but this is a rare occasion where a video game being turned into a movie is actually really good i mean it's a hell of a lot better than the um, resident resident evil netflix series um yeah, that 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 one was so bad that they did they they didn't um, plan to do like they cancelled the second se series of that. They like said fuck it, it, this didn't do so well. We're not going to continue the series, and it left on it left on a click on on a cliffhanger with the old tyrant hand right there. It's like really, you're not going to continue it. You might as well finish what you started. But oh well, never mind. Um, but yeah, um, really impressive. I'm gonna end it here. I'm actually converting some files at the minute of like things that I want to edit. So I've got that in the pipeline. I'm gonna be so busy that, that, that for the end of the week, it's gonna be ridiculous. Well, until the end of the month, I'm gonna be super busy with like video stuff. So I'm gonna end it here. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and also up there's my is the links to my. Um, if you want to support the channel, you can. And I will see you guys next time.